Science and what we do in that first semester is do intensive learning, particularly on the uh, skills that you aren't uh, really used to or really don't have uh, capability in, so that the whole class really gets to um, a level playing field in terms of knowledge and an and ability to share understanding and evaluation and analysis of real estate. So even if you've had some finance background, you're going to be learning more about the physical environment. Likewise, if you have an architecture or planning background, you're going to learn more about finance uh, during that time. But everyone as a class um, participates in these uh, larger core uh, subjects and these larger core courses uh, in order to get these fundamentals um, well and truly nailed in that first semester. So then going into the second semester in the fall, what you do is you continue some of the core requirements. Now we're starting to build in um, legal principles, um, understanding of underwriting of, of real estate acquisitions and debt and so on. But also now you've got a wide variety of uh, electives. And this is where you can start to think about where you might want to go and work, whether you're going to work in development or whether you're going to work in, in acquisitions or finance or community engagement. And this is where those, uh, those uh, electives start um, honing your skills towards that particular outcome and, um, and appropriate for the type of work you're going to uh, pursue, the type of career. And then as I say, final semester is, you know, is a synthesis. And this is where we just make sure that you've got all your skills um, up to scratch for graduation. Uh, you do this wonderful deal book, which is, uh, you know, a very exciting project where you're able to prove your uh, comprehensive capability. Um, but also at that time, you're able to continue to pursue uh, your uh, particular interest or your particular passion and, and some uh, specific uh, electives. Uh, at that time in order to prepare you for your, um, for your employment. In that final semester, of course, we've got our career fair. Uh, you're starting to look for jobs. You may have an internship, a part-time internship and so on. So that final semester is very much, you know, a, a preliminary to being uh, launched as a, as a professional. Um, Okay, and so what we have, of course, um, in, you know, it's a rich program in that not only do you have a lot of intensive coursework and, um, and, you know, wonderful projects that you do as groups and then projects you do individually, but additionally, we bring in a lot of speakers. Uh, you form clubs of interest, such as development by design or um, private equity or global real estate or that uh, or sustainability and you know the, you're able to bring in um, various speakers you're able to go and visit projects and really learn about those type of things in addition as a wonderful supplement to what you're learning just in the classroom we have in various speakers uh, that are noted in industry we also have an annual conference where these speakers are either on panels or giving keynotes and uh, so you're you know you're Absolutely, you you know you're uh, uh, able to get to understand and know exactly what's working out, uh, what's working in the real world, just as you're also learning the technical skills. Uh, as I say, we have a, a great conference, an annual conference this year. It's April 25th at the Pierre, Pierre Hotel. Uh, we do have some substantial speakers um, and uh, keynote addresses and so on. Very importantly, uh, you know, we, we are not a search firm getting you a job, but we very strongly support you in your looking for um, a position as you move towards graduation. Uh, to do this, we bring in um, annually uh, a whole lot of potential employers or people that are out there uh, that, have, um, that are alumni or have hired from uh, our graduates in the past, and they come in and speak to you about what their companies do, how they're, um, how they're expanding, what might be of interest to you in terms of working within those companies. So it's a very exciting event. Uh, and, you know, we get a lot of enthusiasm from industry 
uh, to be there and present and, you know, basically get first dibs on you, on you students as you're about to graduate. We do lots of site tours. Real estate is a very, you know, tangible thing. So it's great to be able to go and really touch it and feel it and, and experience the spaces uh, and um, understand how these buildings come into existence, both in terms of their physical design, the resolution of uh, the urban context, and then the financial and capital markets um, aspects of them. We also, as I say, do uh, foreign trips. Uh, we're able to get uh, overseas for um, either conferences or uh, just for a week-long study trip. Uh, of course, there's lots of um, inter interaction with uh, alumni, even while you're in the program, not just uh, you know once you graduate, uh, but within the program, we have uh, mentors. Uh, hopefully, you know, you get uh, a sort of a really exciting mentor that does a one-on-one -on -one sort of discussion with you and uh, gives you a little insight into industry and so on. Um, and then, of course, you know, we're, uh, it's a very good group. Um, we, we have a lot of um, learning to do, a lot of hard work to do, but then also a lot of enthusiasm for um, relaxing and, and having a lot of fun at the end. So that's, that's about it for the program, uh, just as an overview. Um, any questions on that before we move on to uh, introducing some of our other faculty? No? Okay. All right. Well, we'll start with, um, we've got Professor Kate Asher. Uh, Kate, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Let me just unmute. Hi, I'm Kate Asher. I've taught in the program for about um, a decade. Uh, my background is in private and public sectors. I've worked in real estate and in state and city government and in private finance. Um, and I teach a number of the planning, transportation, uh, kind of urban development type courses. Nice to meet all of you. Great. Thank you. Um, Professor Mansell, Chris Mansell. Yes, hi everyone. I'm Chris Mansell. I'm the Glasscock um, Professor of Real Estate Finance. I teach the core uh, real estate uh, finance curriculum, and you'll have me in the fall and spring semesters. I also teach an advanced placement elective for those of you who really want to get um, into the weeds of the math. And um, like many of you uh, will, will are about to uh, embark on this venture, I was also a student here. So, um, you know, I try to tailor a lot of my teaching towards uh, your perspective, meeting those needs. But it, from my um, own experience, it was uh, really one of the most uh, like life-changing decisions I I made, I, I got so much out of the program. I um, met my spouse here, all my friends are here. So I, I hope you guys, um, you know, get the same opportunity. Thank you, Professor King, Cecily King. Good morning, everyone. My name is Cecily King. Um, I am a real estate developer and consultant as well as a professor in this program. I'm excited to have you all here. Um, for as far as academics, um, I teach the core development courses. Um, that's been my experience both on the public side of the table as well as the private side of the table as well as an entrepreneur, entrepreneur now. So your learnings from me are really based in real world case study, asking you to look at a site, determine what you're going to build, how you're going to fund it, how you're going to finance it, what are your returns, the real assessments that you make um, in the development world on a daily basis. Um, so you'll see me in the spring for your capstone course. Um, I also, in terms of electives, I teach classes around housing affordability and equitable development, especially in urban, urban environments, urban economics, et cetera. Um, and so, you know, you'll see me in a couple of different, a couple of approach real estate from a couple of different lenses. Um, like Professor Munsell, I'm also an alum of the program. I'm on the alumni board as well. Um, and so I'm really excited for you all to sit in the same seats that I have. Um, and, you know, I have a, a particular perspective having been where you all are making the decision that you are making right now. So good luck and hope to see you next year. Thank you, Professor Lubinsky. Hi, good morning, everyone. It's great to see such a, a good crowd of folks here. Um, I am a professor of practice and 
uh, tend to focus coursework on the physical planning aspect. So looking at urban planning, design and architecture, you know, that as um, Professor Darrington showed in that triangle, the physical planning aspects of this is uh, one of the critical uh, components of the program. And when I'm not uh, teaching at Columbia, I'm a partner in a practice called WXY Studio. We are a design, architecture, and planning practice in the city, and we deal a lot with the challenges of development. How do you uh, establish land use and density and uh, get approvals for things in the city? So that's a critical component of our program and definitely something I've uh, got a lot of lived experience with. And I also am a Columbia graduate. I got my architecture training in the Masters of Architecture program. Great, thank you. Well, Jessica, Jessica Stockton King, many of you have already uh, met and discussed or emailed and so on. Uh, she is our Senior Associate Director uh, for Academic Affairs and uh, really keeps track of uh, your progress in terms of your course credits, uh, your graduation, the electives and so on. Uh, she's been with the program about 16 years now and- uh, 20. And Oh, wonderful. And um, so, Jessica, a few words, please. Yeah. Oh, hi. It's so nice to meet all of you. I know lots of you have talked to Thelma, too. Um, it's a big decision. Um, this is a very short period of time. It can be the start of a conversation. I know you have until April 15th. Some of you are going to Professor Adler's talk this afternoon. If you want to visit another class this week or in the next couple of weeks, please message me and I'll let you know the options if you if you um, give me your schedule. I know for other folks, you're, you're not in the New York City area and that's great too. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely follow up with us. It's so nice to see you all. Patrice, would it be okay if we introduce the three students who are here too? Um, I feel like we could do a bigger careers portion because some of the people are attending both days later on, but it'd be great to just introduce those three if that's okay. Right. Okay. And then we come back to Rebecca and... Yes. Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, are you, would you do that, please? Thanks. Absolutely. Um, Davis, do you want to start and then pass it off? Is that okay? Yeah, for sure. Um, so can everyone hear me? Yeah. All right. So I'm Davis Mullins. Um, I'm the class president currently. Uh, I come from a construction background. I was born and raised in Tampa. And I worked for about three years in general contracting and decided I wanted to become a developer. So came to this program. I really loved it. Um, honestly, met way more people than I thought I would end up, you know, wanting to be friends with for the rest of my life here. And Honestly, didn't think I was going to love the finance portion of, of real estate development as much as I have, but, you know, between Professor Darrington and Professor Munsell and some of our other professors really come to enjoy it. Um, I really think you guys are, one, really proud of you for getting in. I know it's a huge step and it's a, um, it's a big stage in your life. I think you're not going to regret coming. You're going to meet a lot of amazing people and learn a lot of amazing things. So really encourage you guys all to to come and attend and I, I don't think you'll regret it for a second. Anika or Annie, I don't know who wants to speak next. Anika? Sure, sure. Hi everyone, my name is Anika Zapatsaris. I'm on the student council along with Davis, I'm the secretary. I'm a dual degree here at GSAP. I'm in the Master of Architecture and MS Red programs. My classmates and I, like David said, we congratulate you on your admittance to the program, and we hope to give you a few insights on what GSAP has for you um, here as an MS Red student. I completed my undergrad here at Columbia with a Bachelor of Arts in Architecture, and 10 days after commencement, I was right back on campus uh, to start the summer semester of the MS Red program, so that really says I love Columbia. Um, I immediately became involved, like I said, in student council. Um, part of the Women in Real Estate Development Club, take part in the MS Red Mentorship Program, and I also support the program in various events and outreach initiatives. Um, as a dual degree student, I also want to emphasize the interconnectivity of thought and experience here in the program. As Patrice mentioned, real estate is a very creative and responsible act, and the way in which buildings are managed and strategically owned is really dictated by the creativity behind those ideas. So being under this umbrella, of Columbia GSAP um, is a huge benefit in developing this interdisciplinary means of understanding real estate. 
I've had the pleasure of getting to speak to a few of you already, and I'm so glad that I'm a dual degree candidate and will be sticking around for a little bit longer to meet even more of you. And I look forward to um, kind of introducing you to campus and wish you a wonderful introduction to the program in Columbia. And Annie. Yeah, thank you, Annie. Hi, I'm Annie. Um, I studied architecture at Cooper Union and uh, was practicing for over 16 years. So this is a late, later change for me. And you can always like ask me questions about that. Um, I also am somebody who has a family and has come back to school. So I've got three kids. Um, so you can ask me questions about that. Uh, I think this program is amazing um, because the professors really come from places of a lot of experience all throughout the city. Uh, they have great perspectives and um, you really get to tap into to their experience. They've all been very open and share their experience um, as, as they teach in your classes. And I've always found them uh, available to talk after class and really um, have been really helpful. So thank you. Good luck. That's great. And then one thing, you know, we um, our students get involved in you know a lot of projects within the classroom, but also compete in a lot of industry wide projects. And uh, we're very honored this year to uh, have a team led by our class president, Davis uh, Mullins, in the finals of the case MIT case competition, which is the international real estate competition that's that's um, where we compete even against business schools. So, you know, this is a major uh, accomplishment for us and we're very proud of our team. Could, Patrice, could I, yes? just, could I just make one comment to the students? It's Kate. Um, yes. I just wanted to, um, uh, to, to just say one word just as follow up to what Professor Darrington said about the program. There's probably two things that make it in additionally super, super unique against other programs you might be looking at. One is of course, and she's emphasized New York City, which we can't say enough about in terms of as a place for real estate and business. Um, and aside from the fact that you may find your um, life partner here, like Chris did, and you may get a job at Columbia like Chris and Cecily did, which are you know not guaranteed at all. The other thing that all the students that we've had over the last decade have said is that one of the best things about the program is the, the, the coterie of people who they then are able to stay in touch with for the rest of their career. So aside from just getting a job when you get out, actually people who can help you in your career, it's an incredibly strong network. And I've seen it over 10 years now of folks all over the world. And it's very hard to imagine getting that in a smaller program or a less diverse program. So, you know, Chris and, and Cecily can speak to it more, but it's a very powerful thing to think about. So just wanted to make that little advertising comment. I'll, I'll stop now. Okay, yes. And, uh, you know, Davis was saying how, you know, many people he's met and, and people that he would never have known in, in other, in other, you know, in other um, forums and so on. So, you know, a wonderful opportunity to broaden. Um, many of our students and graduates say they learned so much just from their classmates uh, in addition to what they learned in the classroom. Um, you know, they come from a wide variety of experience and backgrounds. So uh, very good. So Jessica, um, we'll move on to um, the careers and, uh, and so on. And I'd like to introduce our Associate Director for uh, Career Advisory, Rebecca Polamida. Hi, everyone. How are you? Um, I'm Rebecca Palomina. I've been with the MS Red program for seven years now. Uh, prior to that, I was at the NYU program. So if you have any questions to compare the different programs, I have no you know, problem answering that. Um, <clears throat> so I've been literally, I've been working, like as Kate said, for the last 10 years on, uh, actually 11 years on real estate focused um, career development. So I will be working with all of you. Uh, individually with career counseling sessions. We offer the spring career fair, as P Professor Darrington mentioned, career-focused lectures. We have a mentorship program, spring internship program in the last semester. We have a wonderful job board. Um, we have amazing events with alumni, our conference. There's a, a, a plethora of, of networking opportunities. 
I will say that we have a very high success rate as far as students and their careers after the program. Um, our, we, we are not a placement firm. We are not a recruiting agency, uh, but we definitely help uh, guide your professional trajectory while you're here. And, uh, you know, over 90% of our students within the first, you know, three to six months from graduation have a role. There's obviously a percentage of the program where we don't know. They go back to their countries or respective family businesses, but we definitely follow you on an individual level in this program as far as your career. So I look at each and every one of you differently. Um, I don't group you all together, uh, but I really try to find out what you're interested in, whether it's design, development, finance, um, and I'll really you know, delve into to each of the, um, the asset classes with you um, to figure out where you guys want to go. So um, I'm here. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I think Jessica is going to send information on, I think some of you have already reached out to me. Um, so if you have any questions, just feel free to email me now and, and I'll be here. So if you have any questions, please just ask away. And this is actually a great time for it, just because I would guess a lot of you probably have similar oh, questions. Yes, oh, I will okay. say just to say too, like as far as the hiring goes, yes, obviously New York City, you know, the the heart of the heart of real estate students obviously want to work in New York City, but we have students who get jobs all over the country and all over the world. So don't feel as though, you know, you feel like the pressure to be in New York. Um, some students do feel that way, but we, we have jobs and connections all over the world. So um, if you're open to other geographical areas after the program, I absolutely love that. Please feel free to uh, reach out uh, with questions. Uh, Jessica has um, managed these admissions processes for a, you know, quite a while now. So she's, she knows all of the twists and turns. So feel free to get some clarity should you have any questions. Okay, we look forward to uh, seeing you um, this summer. And uh, thanks very much for tuning in.